will see how we can download Eclipse on your MacBook. So for that, I'll go to the browser. I have a Chrome browser. I will choose Elect I Eclipse ID for Mac. Um, so when you type this, you get the first option, which is from eclipse.org. So I'll just go and select this option. It also tells me there's a newer version available, so I'll select that one. Also, one thing I want to tell you is the prerequisite for Eclipse installation is Java installation. So if you go on the right to your install guide, you will see that um, this is a Java based application and it requires a Java runtime environment or JRE or JDK in order to run. And for the recent versions of Mac, you need full JDK to be installed, not just a JRE. So you will need a full JDK installation to be done. Also, um, if you are using, so, so right now for the current versions of Java 17 plus is, or the newer is needed. But um, if you are using older versions of Java, you need to scroll down and see which Eclipse uh, version needs which Java version. So 4.28 need at least Java 17. And um, if you are using older versions like Java 8, probably, which is very popular, then um, the latest that you can use is Eclipse 4.16. So, so that way you can decide which version you want to download. You can go to that particular Eclipse and then download it. So the version that I have is uh, 21. So I can just show you the version that I have. So it is 2103. So I can just go ahead and use the latest version of Eclipse. So here, um, since if you have Intel, um, Intel chip for Mac OS, then you can go ahead and download x86-64. If you have M1 or M2, uh, Mac chip you can use a arc 64 so here if you see on um, on my MacBook I have this Apple Apple M2 chip you can check your um, version or the chip and then decide which version to download so I will go with a arc 64 so the download I'll click on download and the download process is done so I have this installed here I mean, I have this downloaded here, the DMG file. I'll just go and double click that and I'll double click the installer. So since it is downloaded from internet, it is asking me, do you want to open it? Do you trust the source? I, I do trust the source, so I'll just go open it. And now you have few options here. So either you can use the regular Eclipse ID for Java developers, um, or you can go ahead and use for the enterprise applications where you can have some extra tools for JavaScript, TypeScript and other options. I will go ahead with the second option, Enterprise Java and Web Developers. Now, as you see here, we have Java 21 Plus is needed. And this is the installation that I have done on my machine. So it shows up over here, the Java home path. Um, and this is my installation folder, users, my name, and then the Eclipse folder. And then I'll go and press install. It takes a few seconds before, um, or maybe, maybe one or two minutes before it gets downloaded. So yeah, the installation is complete. So I will launch the app. And then you have the workspace directory here. So this is users, Sarkhan workspace, uh, Eclipse workspace is there. So this is the workspace location. I can go and um, I'll continue with the default one. I don't want to change this, but in case you want to, you decide to uh, store the your projects on a different location, then you can uh, choose or select a different location. Uh, I'll press on launch and here we have the Eclipse homepage, a welcome screen. I'll cross this. Um, all I want to do is on this Eclipse workbench, we have different um, 
tabs here we have the project explorer um, we can also select um, other views we can have a package explorer as well which is uh, quite popular and then you can even drag and drop stuff so now you have package and uh, project explorer both uh, this will be useful when you start developing java projects and you want to see your packages um, for the project explorer right now what i plan to do is after this eclipse installation is done i just plan to run a simple java application to see everything is working as expected so i'll create a plain simple java project and then i will have a project name as hello world and the execution environment here is java sc21 because that's the version of java that i have installed uh, i don't need the module info.java since this is a very simple project and i i can just uh, get away with just the plain uh, java class file so here um, i will keep the default create separate folders for source and class files and i'll go and select i'll go and choose next and then i will say finish uh, now that is uh, there are different perspectives available uh, if you want to open java perspective it has some extra uh, tools and features especially for java projects so you can decide to do that or you can just go with the regular workbench option i'll go and choose the open perspective and uh, so that means I have a Java perspective open now. As you see, it, it by default shows the package explorer here, and um, it, which is very easy to navigate. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is I want to create, this is SRC folder, the source file. I want to create a new class file. So I'll select new class, and then I'll say hello world. And also I need public static void main. So I'll select that option and then I'll click on finish. So this is the default hello world uh, dot Java class that is open, that is created by the tool. Um, all I want to do is I just want to use system that out that print ln to print. So system dot out dot print ln and then all i want to do is print the hello world and then i'll save this and all i want to do is i want to do right click and i want to run as a java application so once i run it you will see that hello world is displayed on this console here and um, so i hope this small tutorial of um, creating a small project um it has been useful to you guys and also uh, remember the prerequisite of eclipse is um, java installation so you need to first go to the website and see based on whichever version of java that you have that particular eclipse version you will need to download and um, that's how you'll be successful in setting setting up this 